Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and we are back at Alley Taps with Kylie Mack, and we have Juliana Hale with us. Hey guys. And you performed earlier. I did. And it was amazing. Thank you. We absolutely loved it. And Wade Hayes came in and performed after you. Yes, so he's amazing. He, he's he's pretty great. We're not going to lie. We love Wade. No, <laughs> but you, you have an incredible voice, and Thank you had you. so many people here who were just absolutely digging everything you were singing. Thank you. Appreciate that. I wrote most of the songs myself, but some of them were covers. Right. Yes. There's nothing wrong with covers, right? No. I know. Oh, Get the crowd involved. Yeah. Absolutely. There's there's always a time and a place, you know, where you can throw one in, and, and it gets everybody yeah. energized. I think too. I think right. So they like to hear what they know. Uh, absolutely, but I do think it means a lot when you know you throw that question out there. Hey, what do you guys want to hear? And then somebody says, Oh, something new. Yeah. Do you love that too? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm like, I, I'm just a fan, but I love it when I see that reaction because you see the artist light up almost every time. Oh so. yeah, because like you just want to play like your babies, you know? You're always writing new stuff. Right, right. So you performed a couple originals and a couple covers. Yes. So of the original songs that you performed today, which one means the most to you, and what's the story behind it? I think home probably means the most to me. I uh, wrote it on a train in Paris. Oh, wow. And so it started out as like a physical home. Not that you really want to go home from France, you know. Right. But then it kind of <laughs> translated. I was thinking about someone who kind of made me feel not at home, so it became like a more of a metaphorical kind of home. So that means a lot wow. to me because it's about like where you feel at home. So it's not a physical place, but it's like people. Right. It's people who make you. I come from a military background, okay. I so I completely understand. Yeah. It's not necessarily the mm. place, but it's the people you're with that yeah. are home. So I totally get that. Because I'm from that. California, and we moved around a lot, and then we got here, so it's just like the people that I brought with me makes it feel right. like home. Right, and I, right. and I love that. And, you know, I, I think we actually have a saying like that in our house on, on a decorative piece, something it's, you know, the people that you're with are, is your yeah. home. It's not actually where you are, So which is really, really, really cool. But, okay, yeah. so California, what part of California are you from? Uh, Orange County. I was born in Laguna Beach, which is nice. Southern California. Yeah, I'm Huntington Beach girl. Oh. Wow. I just moved here. Yeah, we're basically, we're, I know we're neighbors. Best friends now. We're like best yeah. friends, neighbors. <laughs> right, so, go. so your next Cali trip home? Yeah, I'm just. I actually be... just got back from California Did you really? on Monday. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how was it? How was the weather out there? It was so it was a little gloomy. We got doom gloom going on. Oh yeah. But I mean, other than that, I was just meeting with some music industry people and writing songs. So it was nice. Oh, that's cool. And a lot of time in a dark studio. Yeah, well, really, <laughs> You're like, sunny me. Southern California, covered in gloom, and I'm stuck in a room. That rhymed. That kind of wasn't <laughs> intentional, but yay me. Um, no, see, this is why I'm not the songwriter at all. I don't know how you all do that. And for those of you, I know you all know Kylie. Kylie's a great artist. She's a performer. She's a singer-songwriter as well. And I'm just the one who stands here with the microphone because I can't do any of that. I'm not talented. How? I don't think I could do that, <laughs> to be honest. Really? I don't know. i to ask all those questions. Keep it going. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes it's kind of funny. Um, I did have one kind of a mishap today, and it's with the boys that I love, but I found myself stuttering on camera today, and I was like, you know, you just got to roll with it when you mm -hmm. make a mistake. So I did oh, yeah. the duh, 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 make it work. in the camera. <laughs> and I'm, like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, if I'm going to sound like an idiot, I'm just going to make a bigger production of it. You know, <laughs> but that's, that's me, and you guys all know who I am. So, But no, back to you, back to your music. You know, where do you find your inspiration? I mean, obviously the train ride home, but yeah. like, you know, it, do you do you pull mostly from personal experiences? Definitely, definitely from like personal experiences, what I feel in life, just like, but also situations I see around me, like what I see my family, my friends going through, because, mm -hmm. you know, I can't pull like all the inspiration from my life. Right. So it's not that interesting, <laughs> right. let's be honest. But yeah, just some things I see around. Sometimes maybe a movie will kind of give me an idea, right. maybe just a concept, a conversation. But a lot of times it is like personal experience. I have a ton of ideas if you ever want any all right. I've got I mean it depends on the the mood music you want to create because I've got some stuff that could go like total heavy death metal okay. my, my band would love that let right? me tell you they would die for that I'm like I should just tell you some of the little things that I've, I've been through that have inspired these feelings and you could probably just have a ball and I would probably really love that song all right sure I would I like uh, sunshine it's actually like a happy sounding song mm -hmm. but it was triggered because uh like I was sick for two years, and so they couldn't figure out what was wrong. Oh. And I have like a rare digestive disorder called fructose malabsorption. So I was burping oh, like wow. I was burping like seven times a minute, which is really gross. Have and you ever burped on stage before? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And then uh, so I just felt sick all the time. So they figured that out, but it still wasn't good. And so then I found out uh, my gallbladder was failing, so I had that removed. So that was oh, kind of wow. like so it's kind of like I had to pursue music through that. And since I had acid reflux because all the other issues, oh, gosh, it kind of yes. ruined my throat. So I had to focus on songwriting and guitar instead of singing, which was difficult. See, wow. and, and, and I'm sorry, I know Kylie, I'm going to get to you, I'm going to let oh, no, her, I'm going to let her talk, I promise, <laughs> but but no, the acid reflux, it 
it'll yeah. destroy your throat and your yeah. vocal cords. I had uh, just like so many sores in the heels. So now my voice, that's kind of why it's so unique is because it that's was great. ruined. So I had to like relearn how to sing. Oh, wow. So, okay. Wow. So that really is a thing. You can actually relearn how to sing. Yeah. So I just, because my range was just totally shifted. I became like basically an alto. It just was incredible. Okay. So there's still no hope for me, you guys. I know that. <laughs> but in my mind, there's a part of me that wants to be like, well, because I had to have the surgery on my vocal cords oh, to wow. repair them because the acid damage was so bad. Mm -hmm. And I had the ulcerative laryngitis and yeah. it was just I was on vocal rest for months and months and months. Signs. My kids hated it. But yeah. I'm thinking, you know, so now I can't even where I thought I could sing before and I knew I couldn't. But where I <laughs> thought I could sing, I at least wasn't cracking my voice like Eddie Furlong in Terminator 2. And now... I can't, I just, I can't, I can't do anything without just cracking my voice. Just and I know, I see power. one of my studio members here, my audience members has just laughed and covered his head when I said that. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm calling, I'm going to just call him out right now. Luke Cachetta, I know you know that movie. And uh, yes, yes, my voice cracks like Eddie Furlong in Terminator 2 when I try to sing any high note. I just can't do it. And you guys don't want to hear it. Although, yes, we do. <laughs> no, that'll be like a drunk shenanigans with Missy episode. Yes, You'll have yeah. to join oh, us on that. Yes, yes it'll be fun. That'll Feel be fun. Pain, I know, that'll be great. But no, I'm, I'm on a serious note, like that's a serious issue. That is yeah. that is hardcore. How, how did that affect you emotionally? Because for me, I couldn't handle it. Yeah. It was definitely hard just because like I couldn't sing the notes I wanted to sing and now I'm on like medication for it every day. So emotionally, it was definitely hard because like that's just something you had to deal with. And I was in high school. Like I actually just graduated mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. And so emotionally, it was just because like that's what I want to do and I had so much passion for it. So I just right. had to find a way. Right. Well, it I'm was tiring. I'm glad though that you, you didn't lose that focus. You didn't right. lose that determination and you just found a way to recraft your craft, yeah. you know? I mean, that's basically Thank what you. you did. And I think that that's great. And I think that your audience is gonna stand out to that and they're gonna be able to relate to you a little bit more, you know? Right. You. You're a real person. You've gone through some real stuff. Real challenges happen every day. To everyone. You know, yeah. but unfortunately, right, Kylie? You oh, have yeah. people out there that think, who look out to you. Right, right, and they think your life is perfect, it's glamorous, they see pictures of you getting ready to go out, Yeah. you know, go perform a show, and they don't see that you live life like everybody else. Right, but I think happen. that's also very, very powerful. And yeah. that's, in, there's always a silver lining to everything. Oh, yeah. So I think in this case, I'm really, really sorry. I can't imagine going through it. I'm a musician myself, yeah. so I can't imagine that. But it's also very powerful that you didn't give up. And yeah, to, I'm you. sure that conveys a really important message to all your fans. To know, you know, yeah. there's going to be trials, there's going to be tribulations, especially if it involves your passion. Yeah. So I'm. That's a really powerful Thank message you. that you didn't give up, and that just shows if you really have a passion for something, mm -hmm. you don't give it up that easily. And that's right. that's a really important message. Thank you. And I'm sure you're a hell of a lot stronger now. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Don't I, ever stop. I won't. And I think I named the album Time because I had all those struggles, so it ended up like everything happened in its own time, you know, like right. it's not on my clock. And so like that was the time for me to release my music because it's when I'd recovered, I'd grown as an artist. So right. it's definitely like why my... Well, and then you found a whole new sound and you, yeah. you're able to just travel a different path than you originally maybe planned. Yeah. And, you know, new adventures along the way. That's got to be really, really, really exciting. It definitely right. is. Yeah. How has your family been throughout all of it? They've been very supportive, for sure. I mean, my mom was with me at every single doctor's appointment, but she's yeah. also my manager, so she like she's booking things for me. So she's with me all the time. Okay. Every second of the day, basically. And she's amazing. <laughs> I love her. And then my stepdad's always he's like the roadie, but he keeps track of like radio and everything. Mm -hmm. He was always there for me when I was sick. Like when I had my gallbladder out, he'd like help me walk around the house Aww. and everything. And my yeah. sister is my best friend too. Oh, she's nice. just she's actually here too. See, sisters can be best friends. It's a <laughs> great thing. One hundred percent. Right? Oh yeah. my gosh, I love when families get involved and yeah. they help out. And um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the artist Mo Pitney. We did an interview with him earlier today, and his entire family. It's like he's got a sister on the road with him, a brother, his yeah. mom, his dad. He's got so many people on the road with him too. And it's like, man, that just means so much when when the it whole really family does, can yeah. get together for the same cause right. and you know helping yeah. each other supporting each other and lifting each other up and making it successful i think that's just the, kudos kudos mom and dad like good job going to a north carolina tomorrow because we're playing taste of charlotte and my sister's coming my stepdad's driving the rv slash tour bus and my mom's the manager so it's just like a nice little family thing i love it i love my it. band that's and they're so basically sweet. family too, too that's so cool so what is your so do you do you go on the road with your family a lot 
Uh, well, this is actually one of our first like away gigs, kind of. We've just mm -hmm. been playing local, but yeah, we actually do go on a lot of road trips and just trips in general. So definitely. okay. So that, that's really cool that your family's so involved in it. Yeah. I'm sure that that was a big part of helping you through this. Definitely. And for them to still support you, I, I mean, props to you. That's all I can say is props to you. That's props amazing. Props to them, going honestly. Through. <laughs> well, props Thank to you. all of you. No, really, yeah. I couldn't. We all know what a road trip looks like with Missy. <laughs> <laughs> not going to do that. Nope. No, I don't think we could all do that. I, I don't think it would work more than more than one show. I just I'm just saying I love you guys, my family. I love you all. But yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, I just I can't. All of our personalities are so different. And it's just I can't see any of that working. But I'm so glad it works for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Me too. It's so nice to see. It's so great. I love that. What else do you have coming up, though, for us? Uh, so, so I have the Taste of Charlotte this weekend. And then I'm probably going to play the Heroes Rock the River in june which is in south carolina and then basically i'm just trying to book shows i'm pretty sure that's all we have coming up at the moment okay so right. basically you're telling everybody to stay tuned for more right yes, yes. and also if you're a booking agent you can you could book me there you go so you guys <laughs> who need really super cute fun bubbly live entertainment with a great powerful voice it's you girl. know who to call yep that's awesome. All right. Well, tell everybody where to find you on social media. All right. You can go to julianahale.com and join my emailing list. And then on Instagram, I'm julianahalemusic. Twitter is julianahale with two E's because Juliana Hale was already taken. And then Ooh. Facebook is Juliana Hale Music. And I got YouTube. I got music videos for every single song on my EP. So there's seven of those. Wow. And so, yeah, just check it out. Wow. All right, guys. Well, you heard her. Stay tuned for more. She's got great stuff that's going to be coming your way. So don't miss out. Until next Bye. time. See ya. Bye.